here we are then for our final race of the day the Parker Racing stock 140 and lining up on pole position we have Mr. Ryan Tyres alongside him Charlie Nesbitt Storm Stacy is in third place Matthew Bolsover takes fourth and Richard Holmes Williams in fifth Luke Westerman is in sixth Ben Bailey in seventh Aaron Walker is alongside him on the grid in eighth and ninth is Mick Lord tenth is Ben Lord eleventh Simon Gates twelfth Jamie Callan Ryan Gaines is in thirteenth fourteenth place goes to John Buckle Connor Winters in fifteenth Simon Wadsworth is in sixteenth place Chris Edwards 17th 18th is Phil Dickens Keir Armstrong is in 19th Jim Titchmarsh finds himself rounding out the top 20 21st is Marshall Richardson Shane Mountney is in 22nd Ian Morgan is in 23rd David Barfoot in the 24th George Hopper in 25th 26th Peter Wadsworth Simon Darling is in 27th Hugh Jones 28th Simon Woodward 29th 30th is Nectarius Katakis and 31st Matthew Putland last but not least Tom Harrison is in 32nd place having not set a time in qualifying it's a big old grid to uh, round out the day's action isn't it we but, do uh, normally save the big biggest one to last they do vary the running order of these but uh, the big ones tend to go out later yeah well, they've waited, some of these riders, a very long time to take to the circuit for this one. And there will, don't forget, still be some riders who haven't gone out in these conditions yet today. So, still plenty uh, plenty of challenges out there for these riders. Some of them will have, though, and it will be interesting to see uh, if that plays to their advantage. Thank you very much uh, for sticking with us. If you have been throughout the day, hopefully we can give one last bout of action. I can see there are a lot of empty spaces on this grid, though. There's not actually 30 bikes. There are 30 bikes. Yes, I still no. think it's one of the biggest grids we've had. Yeah, so we're talking roughly 25 bikes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight empty grid slots, I think. Yep. So uh, perhaps close to 17 yep. uh, with to 25 making it up to the bridge just one of the riders towards the back having their uh, helmet checked uh, and uh, something's not right because they've been asked to uh, vacate the grid at the front we do have Ryan Tyres and Charlie Nesbitt flag in the air here we go for the last time today Ryan Tyres leads them away it's a good start from pole position oh we have a rider down already oh dearie me and the bike's been uh, Clattered. The bike's been clattered more than the rider, which is always the right way round, uh, it has to be said. We haven't had a full start on that way. No, nope. only the one rider down. Some of them took to the uh, cut through to avoid the incident, which uh, I think is very much permissible given the circumstances. Uh, but Ryan Tyres has been able to hold on to this one and that looks to me like Matthew Bolsover has got himself into second place. He has indeed. It was a very good start from him from the right-hand side of the grid. Yep, so we've got a breakaway three here of Tyres, Nes uh, Bolsover, excuse me, and I think that's Nesbitt, the third in the line. Oh, and he's down. He's down out of Raymond's. Well, that not for the first time today. We've seen, and it's the 1-2-6, it's Richard Holmes Williams, not Charlie Nesbitt. So Holmes Williams, he's away again immediately, but not for the first time today. We've seen someone binning it out of Raymond's at the end of the first lap. It's Ryan Tyres, Matthew Bolsover, Ben Bailey it is, who's got up to third place, Luke Westerman in fourth, Ryan Gaines fifth, Buckle, uh, John Buckle, Chris Edwards, Richard Holmes Williams has resumed in eighth place. That's an impressive recovery from a spin. Keir Armstrong ninth and Jim Titchmarsh rounds out the top ten. Charlie Nesbitt has come into the pits. I uh, yeah, I think it was Nesbitt who did go down. So it definitely wasn't Nesbitt who I saw in the top three. Um, and then Marshall Richardson was the rider who... See, that's what confused me. I saw the 28 being asked to pull off and suddenly thought, well, that's Ben Bailey. But there are actually two 28s in the field. So there you go. It was Marshall Richardson who was asked to go and adjust his helmet. I think he's now underway as well. 
tyres and bolts over first and second after the second lap but then there's a huge battle going on for third currently headed by Ben Bailey and Luke Westman they head into the hook third and fourth yeah and Ryan Gaines is part of that battle as well isn't he fantastic thick uh, fantastic pack of bikes this as it's uh, very close as well further down the order David Barfoot's leading a ferocious battle over uh, 11th place at the moment Connor Winters Ian Morgan and Shane Mountney all part of that little uh, negotiation over position out on track Ryan Tyres though who sets the fastest lap of the race 53.182 but we're looking at the Ben Bailey led battle over third place so Tyres rounds the final uh, onto the back straight is that Westerman who's got a good run no it's not Westerman um, it is uh, is it Gaines? No, it was Bailey getting back past, West. I believe. Oh, we've got someone off in the forefront there. Uh, looks to be a back marker, but I can't tell who it is at this point. He's off in the Dell. He's wheeled his bike off as our leaders come through. Plenty of drama happening throughout the field here. I've got to be honest, it's a little difficult to keep track of it. Richard Holmes Williams continues his recovery, having uh, so, uh, having gone down out of uh, Raymond's on the first lap. He's just got past Chris Edwards. Oh, and there's the re replay of the start. So that's uh, Charlie Nesbitt going down, and Charlie Nesbitt isn't registering on timing anymore. I think it's Shane Mountney who we saw having the drama in the Dell there, and that's the 55 having issues. We've lost Ryan Tyres. Uh, that's Ryan Tyres, absolutely. Yes, good spot there. My goodness, they're dropping <laughs> out so quickly here. We can't keep track of them. But yes, that is indeed Ryan Tyres. Matthew Bolsover takes the lead of the race. Luke Westerman second and Ben Bailey third. I was watching for him coming around the last corner and I saw Bolsover and uh, no tyres. Yeah. Well, plenty of tyres. There's a yes. lot in the safety barrier, but, but not the tyres we were expecting. Steady Sorry, on. that pun had to be put in at some point. Steady on. Tyres comes into the pits to retire. There's one for you, Howard. Um, <laughs> yes, he's made it back yeah, round. You can see the frustration. Dejected. Yeah. So, Bolsover now all of a sudden has a lead of seven and a half seconds. And he's loving life, isn't he? But the, the um, yeah, as he gets there. a gesture from the pit wall to say, your gap's huge, mate. Uh, so we've got to look to the third place battle, uh, uh, second place battle even now between Westerman, Bailey and Gaines as they just have crossed the line. Here it is. Uh, there's traffic involved as well. Uh, but there is uh, Ben Bailey with the uh, distinctive uh, pink helmet there leading Ryan Gaines through some of the traffic. That's uh, Westerman and Bailey. And yeah, has Bailey got past third. Westerman? He looks to have got past him. Yeah, that's uh, uh, no, hang on. black I'm, helmet, isn't it? I'm getting myself confused here. No, I know what it is. That's Luke Westerman. Oh, sorry, yes. And Catching up to a back marker. Ben Bailey is in the bright colours, just yes, behind. Absolutely. Sorry, I think my timing screen was doing something a little bit odd then. So yes, yeah, this is Westerman. Who's Westerman? It's, he was. This rider was up there at the start, wasn't it's he? It's tyres. That is that tyres back tired. out there? No, that's. Um, who we looking at? Uh, we've got a rider down, sorry, we've got a rider down out of Raymond's, which I think is Connor Winters. Nope, no, it's not Connor Winters. Apologies. Very well, this being the last race of the day. Ball Silver <laughs> comes around to complete another lap. There are five remaining. Coming through the shot now is our second place man, Luke Westerman. Yep. He's chasing down He's Simon Woodward. Brian Tyres now showing as out. Charlie Nesbitt also failed to complete a lap. 
Yes, we believe this is Simon Woodward. I wouldn't say holding up Luke Westerman. I can't tell if this is a transponder issue or we've just... It may well be a transponder issue. Maybe this is Charlie Nesbitt. And uh, if anyone can help us out on this online. Because <laughs> uh, we've, we've got Charlie Nesbitt not showing his completed lap, but that does look to be... Well, we know, well, we know, we know that Nesbitt went down. That's true. We saw yes. Nesbitt go down, so it's not Nesbitt. Nesbitt's out the race. Ryan Tyres is also out the race. The battle for third between Ben Bailey, Ryan Gaines, and Richard Holmes Williams is still raging on. They're going through the hook now and onto the bomber straight. I think it might be. It ben is Ben Lord. Lord. That's so. That ah, there we go. Right. Ben Lord is not showing at all on timing. That's the... I thought I recognised the, the bike. Yeah, we definitely But I didn't want to call it because I couldn't see any placeholder on the timing. Right, yeah, that makes sense. Um, right, so we're going to say Matthew Bolsover in first. Ben Lord is running second with Luke Westerman third. Um, and then it's a battle for fourth place between Ben Bailey, Ryan Gaines and Richard Holmes Williams, which is what's on screen now coming through the hairpin. And Bailey, as we join it, is slow out of there and it's allowed Holmes Williams to the front. Holmes Williams has got past Ben Bailey and Ryan Gaines on that last lap. So brilliant stuff there. And it's all changed for fourth place. Ben Bailey is there with the pink helmet. We've got a yellow out at Surtees. Uh, there's a rider stricken off to riders right on the exit of that. I'm well out of harm's way and just trying to get the bike restarted, so no harm has come to the rider in question. It's not our leader, he's just come through the dell. Nope. I couldn't see him for a second there, and I, uh, I thought he were, might have been the one in question. Yeah. No, he comes through the final hairpin now. Mm -hmm. Two laps remain of this. Uh, Bolsover looks to have it sewn up. Westerman and Lord Westerman are closing now. Uh, Westerman is now ahead of Lord on the road. They have 2.5 seconds and two laps to close it. Yep. And Richard Holmes Williams, having got past Ben Bailey and Ryan Gaines, has uh, just set the fastest lap of the race 52.530. So, We've lost thank you. I have sure. to say thank you to Scott on Facebook for trying to help us out uh, to work out uh, what was going on there. We appreciate the help. We double check the the grid, and you're absolutely right. So it was Ben Lord. Well, Silver comes yeah. through the last corner. He, Westerman is close. Yeah, I don't think he's close enough to make a difference on this final lap. Indeed, the gap is two seconds. Westerman took four tenths out of him there. Bolsover is in traffic. But Westerman will have to navigate that traffic and overtake him yep. in about half the circuit. Holmes Williams still leading that battle over fourth place. Here's your leader then, Matthew Bolsover. And then there is Westerman. Well, it's been a dramatic day here at Landau. We've seen incidents and accidents. We've seen dramatic racing. And at the moment, it looks like we're going to end it with our... Stop 160 champion from last year, Matthew Bolsover, taking a win in the Parker Racing pit by Stop 140. He just has to round Raymond's now. And Matthew Bolsover takes the win in round five of the British Mini Bikes Championship in the Parker Racing Stop 140s. Luke Westerman, we believe, finishes second with Ben Lord in third. Richard Holmes Williams takes fourth, Ben Bailey fifth. Ryan Gaines takes sixth. He dropped off the back of that fourth place battle after a while, but still managed to come home in sixth. John Buckle, seventh. Chris Edwards, eighth. Ninth for Connor Winters. Tenth for Jim Titchmarsh. Eleventh uh, for Keir Armstrong. Twelfth for David Barfoot. Thirteenth, Ian Morgan. Fourteenth, Simon Woodward. Fifteenth, George Hopper. Sixteenth, Shane Mountney. And seventeenth for Marshall Richardson. Ryan Tyres, we saw. Uh, having to pull off into the pit lane after drama for him. Charlie Nesbitt went down on the first lap in the hook. Good win for Bolsover there. 
and Jacob, it follows, it fin it rounds off, that's the phrase I'm after, uh, what has been uh, a highly entertaining afternoon's racing once it finally got underway. Yes, indeed, Howard. Unfortunate, really, that we couldn't see two rounds of the racing. Uh, just a reminder that Mason was able to get up and uh, walk through the paddock. He's in hospital now, still had no update, but uh, in good spirits. And hopefully we'll see him back at Liz in a fortnight's time. Yeah. Yeah, some good racing on a whole, as we've come to expect from BMB 2018. Absolutely. Don't forget, uh, if uh, after the fact you want to review any of the results of today's action, head over to results.alphatiming.co.uk, click on British Mini Bikes, and you can see the confirmed results there.